Yes. Uh, actually, I've been associated with this right from the beginning. That's 83, 84 when it started. And there are remarkable changes in the sense that earlier when we started, there were about two to three labs. Most facilities were poor. Now I think there are over a thousand labs across India. So in a big way, it has revolutionized. It is now this uh, care is available almost all the parts of India. Earlier, people had to go to Delhi or uh, Bombay or Calcutta to get IVF done. Now it's there even in the smaller towns like Jalga or Sangli or Rotak, everywhere is available. Uh, not really. I think uh, two are different matters. IVF uh, should continue in its own scheme. See, this kind of expertise which people develop, it lasts for at least few decades. You know, It does not change without that. So I don't expect much of a change. I think IVF should continue as it is. So far, there have been very, very few uh, segments where there is a recognition given to medical fraternity. You had awards for the industrialists, you have awards for film stars, though nothing for this. Only awards which doctors get is when probably they are in a old age, when they get a Padmashi or somebody, something like that. So nothing is ever available. I think it's a big initiative, which helps, and not only it does help the doctors, but it also help, helps popularize the field. And earlier, even the healthcare industry means used to be pharma industry, nothing else. I think now there are conclaves like this, are recognizing the other medical fraternities or other medical organizations. And I think it's now considering this as a medical industry. So it's given a shape of an industry, which I think is the biggest contribution.